What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I just wanted to make an update video. I wanted to talk about some of the stuff that's happened over the past three months. I don't know if that's crazy to y'all, but it's crazy to me that it's already been three months since I started this YouTube channel. Um, and I also just kind of wanted to let y'all know some of my plans for the next three months on this YouTube channel. Um, but before I get into all that stuff, I, I haven't said this on any of my videos and I felt like I just needed to say this, but just thank y'all. Like I, I can't express how thankful I am for every, like you guys that are following and have subscribed and like just watching every video, like how much it means to me to feel the support. Um, just the fact that people have continually been coming back to watch in this storm and um, I've been continually coming to watch every video that I post every week and it's I really have felt so much support I think a lot of times um, When somebody starts something like this You you don't see a lot of people jump on right away and not that it's become a huge following at this point But those of you that are following I've just I have felt so supported on online like the comments people sharing videos on social media things like that, but also just in person as I've like seen you guys at church or seen you guys just in my daily life. So many of you have just said such cool things about something that impacted you on the channel. And I wanted to share one story specifically that was super special to me. Um, somebody I haven't heard from in a long time actually um, called me the day that I released In This Storm and they told when they called me they were like Joel I re I received some really bad news today that um just really like I was really upset about and I didn't know how I was going to deal with this situation and on the phone with me they were still like they, they were like I still don't know how I'm going to deal with this situation and they didn't get into the details of it but they just told me that shortly after they got this news they had gone online and they saw the song in this storm and that the song just really connected with them because of the situation that they were in. And, and actually Rochelle was with me on the phone when we were talking and man, we both just got emotional and it was like, it was just this really cool moment of like, for me, it was a moment of clarity knowing that what I'm doing here is matters and what I'm doing here is helping people and as a songwriter and as a creative person like the fact that one person's life is better because what I'm doing just makes makes it all worth it to me and so just all that being said I'm so thankful for the support I'm so thankful that y'all are connecting with what I'm doing here and I I'm really looking forward to see everything that God is going to do through this channel. So all that being said, I'm really I'm really happy and excited about how things have been going. But something that I realized after I finished promoting in this storm, um, my original plan was to actually release an EP this month. Um, well, when I'm shooting this, I'm shooting this video in October, but I'm gonna release it on November 1st. So anyway, I was planning to release an EP during October. Um, but I ended up ended up not being ready to be released that soon So I'm pushing that release date back to January and that's still in the works and that's definitely coming I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later But what I realized is when I was done promoting the single in this storm and I didn't have another um, Musical project to promote at the time. I realized that I didn't I didn't really have a very strong brand on my channel. I didn't have like a core concept that makes the channel work without me pushing music, if that makes sense. And even though I do want to constantly be putting new music out, that's the goal with this channel. I want the channel to kind of stand for something more on its own, even if there's not necessarily new projects. And so, um, because of that, I started doing a lot of research into brands and how you connect with how you can connect well with an audience. And that's part of why I wanted to make this update video is I'm about to start like rolling out 
a lot of this stuff, it's gonna be a whole new branding thing for me. I'm gonna like really brand the channel where it has a core philosophy. And and I really hope it's something that you guys will also believe in too. I've tried to like break it down into like the most simple way I could put it as possible. And what I've come up with is that the, the motto or the value statement of this channel is gonna be die empty. And I know that might sound kind of intense when you first hear it, um, and it is kind of intense, but that's part of what I like about it is I, I kind of want it to be intriguing when people hear it for the first time, be like, wait, what is he, what's he talking about, die empty? And what that means to me is to live a life that you write the songs that you want to write, that you write the books you want to write, that you love the people in your life well. Like it means everything that's in your heart that's important doesn't stay in there, that you let it out. And that's the idea of dying empty. And I want that to be the motto of this channel. So first off, I want to live that kind of life myself. And I want to be an example of that to you guys. But the second thing, and probably even more important than just me doing that, is I want to inspire and encourage anyone who follows my channel. I want to encourage and inspire you to also live that kind of life, a die empty life where you, you don't get to the end of your life and regret that you didn't do the things that really matter to you. And so that's going to be the core philosophy of my channel. And so all my content is, is going to be kind of built around that idea of do the things that matter before it's too late. And, um, and I'm really excited about that because I feel like it's the simplest way I could put it. When I first started this channel, the, there, there was two scriptures that were just constantly in my mind and on my heart. And the first one is the parable of the talents where the master gives his servant this, these, each a portion of money and, you know, and then he leaves and he expects them to handle the money well. And there's two good servants who take that money and invest it and make more money out of it. But then there was a servant who just buried it. And when the master gets back, he's disappointed with the servant who buried the money. And he, and he's, and he rejoices with the servants who made more out of what they were given. And I don't want to be that servant. I don't want to be the person who God gave a vision to, God gave a dream to, God gave passion for something and I just buried it in the ground. So I'm committing to live that kind of life of a die empty life, a, a, a life where I say, man, everything that God has given me, I'm gonna steward it well, I'm gonna invest it, I'm gonna do something with it. And the other scripture is in the New Testament where Paul says that I've been poured out like water, which that one um, very much, almost it's directly with my, you know, the, the value statement of die empty you know, he's, he's reaching the end of his life and he's saying, I've, I've poured it all out. Like there's nothing left in me to give. And what a powerful thing to say at the end of your life, you know? And I don't know about you, but I want to be able to say that. And, and if I can help you, if I can encourage you to also live that kind of life, that's, that's worth it. You know, that's something that makes this this whole channel and what I'm doing here worth it. And so all that being said, that's the new brand is Die Empty. And I, and I hope it resonates with you and connects with you. Um, I know that it, it really has grown on me the more and more I think about it. Um, so, so f but from a practical point of view, what am I going to do on the channel? I'm going to rebrand the channel, have a backdrop. Actually, it's what I have back there on the computer behind me. I'm going to have that be the background on my channel and I'm going to put up a new picture of myself and I'm going to put a short promo saying who I am and that we're about dying empty on this YouTube channel and stuff. And then I'm also going to make a series of videos that I'm going to call how to die empty. So it's going to be like three, maybe four videos where I'm just giving you like practical mindset tips on how to live a life where you're being the person that you want to be, that you feel like God's called you to be. And so I'm really excited about all that. And once those have been finished rolling out, I'm going to start um, uploading a lot of like a, a handful of more like uh, cover songs of like popular worship stuff. 
Um, and then I'm gonna do some Christmas songs because it's Christmas time and why not, you know? Um, but after the holidays are over, I'm gonna be releasing my new single and it's gonna be called His Heart. Um, and I'm really excited about this project because it's, um, all the songs are written from God's perspective. And I'm, I'm trying to express some of the most impacting moments that I've had with God over the past few years of my life. And the goal is for people to, when they're done listening to this, this EP, like these songs that I've written, that they're gonna walk away feeling like they understand God better. And um, so I'm very, very excited about that. It's gonna be called His Heart. Um, I'll probably flash a picture of the cover I have for it right now on the screen. So that's what the cover looks like. I, um, I'm super excited about it. It's out of all the songs I've ever written. These are the songs that I'm like the most excited about. Um, I'm really believing that they're going to really impact people's lives. And so all that being said, I, if you watched this far into the video, I know that you care about this channel. And I know that you care about the message that I'm trying to get out there. And I just wanted to ask you guys, you know, even and you and you guys already have been doing an awesome job of this, but I just want to ask you even more, like share these videos, push, push this, you know, if this die empty message is something that resonates with you and you like the idea of people listening to these songs that are expressing God's heart for us. You know, when I put com promotional content out there, you know, share it, push it, try to try to get more people to see it and connect with this message. Because I think that at the end of the day, this really is going to impact people's lives. Another thing is I'd love to see more comments and things like that, too. I want this to feel like a community. I want this to be... <clears throat> I want us to all be pursuing this die empty idea together. And um, all that being said, I want to start doing a new sign off to these like videos where I'm just talking to you guys. Um, and I guess it'll sound weird this time the way I say it because it's my first time saying it, but you got to say it. You got to say it a first time for it, for it to make Anyway, but this is my new sign off. Um, and I'm gonna start doing this at the end of every video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. But as always, die empty. I'll catch you in the next one.